Now, also, just want to let you know, also, that the Celtics are missing a number of players. They lose by 30 today, but playing, obviously, without players for health and safety protocol, Jason Tatum being one of them. That goes without being said. That's probably why they suffered their biggest loss under Brad Stevens to the Knicks. But, B. Wood, just starting with Kimball Walker, the floor general for the Celtics, how happy are they to see him come back into this lineup? I think they're very happy. When you look at the fact that even though Kimball Walker is just playing his first game to, uh, this afternoon, the Boston Celtics still one of the top teams in the Eastern Conference, and that's that was a little bit surprising. I, we know they had talent, but you thought maybe they'd be maybe third or fourth without Kimball, but they've stayed up top. So I like where they're at. I like the steps forward that Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown have uh, have made towards becoming uh, superstars in this league. And when Kimba gets in shape and when he gets up to par and they've had a chance to go out there and play together, Kimba's an excellent leader. He's the exact type of leader that this, that this team needs. I played with Kimba in Charlotte. I saw young Kimba. He was a leader then. He's an even better leader now. And I think this Boston team can be really scary. Can he help the Boston Celtics maintain this position at the top of the conference? Yes, for sure, Ro. And I add on to B. Wood, the way he's playing his leadership, but also while he was out. I thought Jeff Teague and the rookie Peyton Pritchard played well. So Peyton Pritchard got a chance to get some meaningful minutes. This was bowl well down the stretch. So now you have three guys that can play that point guard position along with Marcus Smart. So you have some decision makers. And then when Kimba started to get in rhythm, the way Jason Tatum is going, and I love the addition of Tristan Thompson. Gives them a big that can get some extra possessions. I think the Boston Celtics are going to be scary with all these additions. Yeah, it's been about 10 years since the Celtics have had a, a big lead the team in rebounds with 10 or more. Tristan Thompson could be that guy this season. But let's talk about these New York Knicks. They came in losing five straight after starting out the season on this hot stretch. We see what, what Tibbs has been able to do coming in with this organization. He's, he's kind of had the Tibbs effect on this team. We know that he's a proven winner. B. Wood, what are your thoughts on the early returns so far in this Knicks team? Well, listen, I, I think the main thing that Tibbs has done is he's changed the culture. Whether the Knicks come out there and they win or they lose, they look like they're playing a lot harder than they did um, in the last couple of seasons. That's the main thing that Tibbs wanted to instill in his ball club. They almost kind of remind me of the Brooklyn Nets from a couple of years ago when they might not have won a lot of games, but they were in a lot of ball games and they played hard and whatever team came into their building knew they were in for a fight. That's where you are with the Knicks right now. You can no longer look at them as the lovable losers that we've seen for the past decade. These guys are not competing. Tibbs is requiring more. And if you don't defend and do things at a certain level, Tibbs will not put you in the ballgame.